Okay, today we're doing key points on earwigs, okay? So, we're, uh, Mr. Gilbert's gonna read the story and then we'll answer our two questions at the end, okay? So make sure we have our listening ears turned on and our mouths quiet and our eyes are focusing. Earwigs by Jane Kinzer. Many people do not like earwigs. These small brown insects scurry up walls and they have big pincers. But earwigs aren't as bad as you might think. Believe it or not, earwigs make very good mothers. Many insects lay their eggs and then leave. Not earwigs. The mother stays with her eggs, cleaning them and keeping them safe. She even helps the babies hatch out of their eggs. Once they hatched, she helps them eat. She also keeps them out of danger. Earwigs are also not as scary as they look. Sure, they have wing, wings and big pincers, but they do not use their wings often. And earwigs do not like to use their pincers on humans. They use them mostly to catch prey, even when they do pinch people, they are just keeping themselves safe. The pincers do not cause any harm. The next time you see an earwig, remember, it's more than just a creepy bug. Okay? Our key point, earwigs are not as bad as they seem. Okay, they're not as bad as they seem. All right, so let's go back and see why they're not as bad. Because a lot of people, even Mr. Gilbert, thinks that earwigs are creepy and crawly, okay? So let's read our story again, and then we can underline things that we may think that makes earwigs not so bad, okay? Many people do not like earwigs. These are small brown insects, scurry up walls, and they have big pincers. But earwigs are not as bad as you might think. Okay? Believe it or not, earwigs make very good mothers. Ooh, that's a good thing. Earwigs make very good mothers. Many insects lay their eggs and then leave. Not earwigs. The mother stays with her eggs and cl cleaning them and keeping them safe. Okay, so the mother stays with her eggs, cleaning them and keeping them safe. That's a good thing. She even helps the babies hatch out of their eggs. Once they have hatched, she helps them eat. She also keeps them out of danger. Earwigs are also not as scary as they look. Sure, peop they have wings and big pincers, but they do not use their wings often, and earwigs do not like to use their pincers on humans. That's another good thing. Earwigs don't like to use their pincers on humans. They mostly use to catch prey. Even when they do pinch people, they are just keeping themselves safe. The pincers do not cause any harm. The next time you see an earwig, remember, it's more than just a creepy bug. Okay, so what are things that we underlined in our story, okay, that made earwigs not so bad, okay? Earwigs make very good mothers, and they stay with their eggs, cleaning them, keeping them safe, okay? And they do not use their wings often, and earwigs don't like to to use their pincers on humans, okay? So let's remember those things. So we have our question. Earwigs are not as bad as they seem. We have two reasons, okay? What's one reason that they might not seem as bad? 
Are they good mothers or bad mothers? Good. So earwigs make good mothers. Okay. And do earwigs stay with their eggs or do they, they leave their eggs? They stay with them, good, to keep them what? Safe, good. Earwigs make good mothers and they stay with their eggs to keep them safe. Good. Okay. Our other reason, okay? They do not use their wings as often. And do they like to use their pincers on people? No, they only use their pincers if they have to keep themselves safe. So they do not like to use their pincers on humans. Okay, that is it for today, guys. Good job.